Welcome back to the Chase Family Arena, Hartford Hawks basketball with Coach Dan Rosati here on CBTV Sports. I'm John Holt, and time now to meet a well, player that's been with you for a year, but she's uh, shrouded in mystery because she didn't play last year due to the ankle surgery. Uh, Katie Roth, who now has four years to play for you, and she's jumped right into the starting lineup. Yeah, well, we ex had big expectations for Katie when she got here, and unfortunately, she had to miss the season last year. But to give her, get her, get her a chance to learn the system and learn the players, and I think uh, coming into a year where she is a freshman, she's much better off than if she would have been last year coming in and start trying to play right away. Time to meet Katie Roth in our Manchester Honda Player Profile. Last year was supposed to be the first year of college basketball for redshirt freshman Katie Roth but an ankle injury delayed her playing debut by 12 months. I had seen a lot of doctors, done a lot of physical therapy, and ultimately surgery was the only option. I mean, it was a huge disappointment, but at the same time, I think sitting out for my freshman year was kind of a big advantage for me because now I have four years of eligibility left. Um, I've seen the expectations, I've seen what we need to do, I've seen how we play, what we do here, so I think I'm at an advantage being a freshman now and having seen what I had seen last year. Once back and active, Katie became an immediate starter for the Hawks. She's back, but not back all the way, at least not yet. I wouldn't say that I'm 100, feeling 100% physically, but at the same time, um, I'm happy with where I'm at. I'm, I'm happy that I'm able to be playing right now. I mean, that's great. Katie's biggest game so far came back in November at UMass, a career-high 17 points on 6 of 7 shooting, something assistant coach Bill Sullivan would like to see more of. All I've asked Katie to do is score 3,000 points and get 2,000 rebounds. She seems reluctant to want to do that. She has too many games where she's 3 for 4, 2 for 4, 2 for 3. Um, we got to find a way to make her want to be more of an offensive threat. Um, even the game where she scored 17 points up at UMass, she took seven shots. Uh, that's tremendously efficient, but the other four guys on the floor there are not doing a good enough job of getting her more touches. Um, sh she's the kind of kid that's going to be the leader of this team. Um, kids naturally gravitate toward her. She's got the kind of personality. Other kids want to be around her. Nothing phases her. You praise her. You yell at her. You, she reacts the same way all the time. Um, so we'll, we'll keep you know, I'm going to have to lower my expectations and bring it down to maybe 2,750, but we'll, we'll work on that as we go. It's hesitation, but also, you know, I know that we have other people on the team that can score as well. I mean, the depth of the team is so great that it could be anyone having a great scoring night on any given night. So, um, sometimes I do feel hesitant to take shots. I mean, I want to run the offense way. I want to get the ball to the people who should be having the shots, but um, I know Coach, Coach Sully does expect a lot from me. He always says, all you have to do is be perfect all the time. So, I mean, obviously that's not going to happen, but uh, I wouldn't mind taking a few more shots. Katie was a Miss New York State basketball finalist in high school, playing just outside Albany at Maple Hill High School. Then, of course, there was her other claim to fame at Maple Hill. For two and a half years at boys' basketball games, she dressed in the mascot's outfit. This current hawk was once the Maple Hill Wildcat. That was just kind of a spur of the moment type thing. One day the person who normally wore the suit wasn't there and I was like, well, let me get in it. You know, this could be fun. So I got in the Wildcat suit and it was so hot, but I had a blast in it really, like just going around giving kids high fives, you know, shooting three pointers at halftime. So it was just something funny that I like to do at home and um, all my friends would be at the game and they, they knew it was me so it was like just a fun type thing. Despite her mascot experience, Katie has no plans to do a tour as Howie the Hawk. And whoever does Howie now does a great job so I don't think I can take his place. <laughs> Instead, she'll continue to play the part of a healthy Division One basketball player. My expectations are also high for myself. I, I expect to make a positive influence on the team. When I go in the game, I want to help make us better. You know, I want to bring energy to the floor, bring a defensive presence, and really get us going. Like, I'm not looking to come in the game and score 30 points, but I know that, that I can bring something positive, whether that be rebounding, um, playing hard defense, running the floor hard. If I bring something positive, I know that there's a way that we can improve our game. 